breakfast on weekends when I have time to cook is banana pancakes. To make banana pancakes, I can make the liquid and dry ingredients separately and then combine them just before I'm going to cook. So first, the liquid ingredients. One egg. And I always crack the egg by itself. Never add the cracked egg directly into the ingredients because it might be rotten. I don't want it to ruin anything else. That one's in good shape. So one beaten egg. A few tablespoons of cooking oil. This is sunflower oil. I can get sunflower oil locally. It's a major cash crop in my region. One cup of filtered drinking water. Now for the dry ingredients, one cup of flour. I'm lucky I can actually buy wheat flour in my village. A half cup of cornmeal. Locally, they call this ground meal. The corn that they grow here is white. So this is the same consistency as the yellow corn meal that we get back in the States, but it's white. A little bit of salt. Maybe that's a quarter teaspoon. About a third of a cup of dry milk. And then you can add a few spoons of sugar if you want. I'm going to not do that because there's going to be so many bananas. Mix the dry ingredients very thoroughly. I almost forgot the baking powder. That would have been an unfortunate mistake. Normally they say you should be very careful measuring your baking powder. Eh, for these pancakes it's really not that critical, but it's good to have some. But, you do want to make sure that the baking powder is well mixed with the dry ingredients. And then the bananas. Lots of bananas. It's going to be about two cups of bananas. For my pancakes, I like to cut the bananas into coins. That looks pretty good. Now I have a good sized bowl of banana chunks. To prepare to actually cook the pancakes over the smoky fire, I've changed into my rightiest clothes. Since the fire isn't exactly here, I need to carry everything over there. So I have a big plastic tub into which I'll put everything I have. So, cooking oil, dry ingredients, liquid ingredients, a rag, bananas, prize possession, a cast iron frying pan which I mailed myself from the United States, plate for putting the pancakes off the fire, spatula for scraping out the bowl, Fork for eating the pancakes if I want to be dainty, pancake turner, bananas. I think I have everything. Ah, smoke.
So now without a moment to lose, mix in the liquid and dry ingredients. Correct the slope of the frying pan. Now that the liquid and dry ingredients are well mixed, add the bananas. I like to make big pancakes. This first one's cooking nicely. Got some nice bubbles on top. Ready to flip. Wait for this side to cook. This side's loose in the pan. Need to increase the fire a little bit. I think that's ready. Take it out. I think I have enough oil for the next pancake. Since it's just me here, I don't have to be dainty. I can just eat the pancakes as soon as they come off the fire. Mm. No syrup, good stuff.